A decision made at the height of World War II explains why I've come to Japan. In 1943, Japan placed a moratorium on gold mining, redirecting all of its companies to the war effort. Most of the shuttered gold mines were never reopened, but a recent modification in Japan's mining law has changed everything. What you are about to see is my investigation of this opportunity to witness firsthand the operations of the first foreign mining company to ever be granted mineral exploration licenses in Japan. This is a firm that's now partnered with the largest, most respected company in the gold resource sector, Newmont Gold Corp. Together, they hope to unlock the wealth that's hidden in these hills. This is the town of Akutahara on Japan's northern island of Hokkaido. It's the biggest and best opportunity that I've seen in my lifetime. This is where John Proust and his team have set up shop looking for gold. He's the CEO of Japan Gold Corp, a Canadian mineral exploration company. Japan Gold was the first to come here when Japan decided to open up to foreign mining companies. The Japanese government uh, changed the mining law in 2012 um, as a, a response to two um, important events that had occurred. Uh, the first event was really the global economic crisis that put pressure on Japan as it did elsewhere. The second one was the earthquake and the ensuing tsunami that occurred in Japan, again creating incredible devastation there, um, but also uh, creating uh, a need for an economic stimulus. Prior to this, foreign mining companies could not operate independently in Japan. This change in the mining law was decades in the making. There was really a lot of focus on getting bullion up until around 1943. Andrew Rowe is Vice President of Exploration and Country Manager for Japan Gold. At that stage, there was obviously a world war going on and um, Japan realized that they had a lot of manpower and resources involved in gold mining and they needed to redistribute those resources into other areas at that stage. What was interesting about that period was that a number of those mines were in full production. So th this weren't, these weren't uh, sort of little exploration efforts, these were full production uh, opportunities. The mines were closed and today are hidden behind 75 years of overgrown forest. Um, just different laboratories that we think were over on this side over here. This is one of those closed mines. Moving up to now is the staircase that would have led you to the processing facility. It is one of 40 historic gold mines that are included in the 12 gold project areas Japan Gold has secured throughout the country. The majority of the projects are in the northern part of the country on the island of Hokkaido, with a few others on the southern island of Kyushu. We have a collection of projects that are truly stunning in their scope. To the degree that Newmont Gold Corp, the world's largest gold miner, has partnered with us to explore several of these key areas. They believe in what we're doing. The opportunity is truly astounding. There has been a Japanese government mindset that everything's been discovered there. Mike Andrews is Japan Gold's president and chief operating officer. The best place to look for a mine is next to another mine. There's a lot of mines there that uh, have not had any modern exploration in the vicinity of them. The process is we walk over the ground, we collect rock samples, we look at the geology, we understand where the targets are. And, and the final phase is to start drilling on these targets, to find drill targets and start putting holes into them and finding out what's happening underneath them. And that's exactly what the company's been doing. These drills are owned by Japan Gold, giving John and his team flexibility to drill right away as permits are granted. Over the next few months, we're drilling two very compelling projects using funds from the recently completed strategic financing led by Newmont Gold Corp, resource capital funds from Denver, and two large Japanese funds. The projects that we're drilling cover 22 historic gold mines, tantalizing projects that we believe, along with one of the largest gold miners on the planet, are worth seriously examining. The dream of everyone in the team in Japan is that one of these 12 gold projects can duplicate what Sumitomo Metal Mining Co. Limited's Hishikari Gold Mine has been able to do. The operating mine in Japan today, the Hishikari Mine, has had a past production and ongoing reserves of over 9 million ounces of gold at 40 grams per tonne. 
That's one of the highest gold mines of all time. Takashi Kuriyama is the former general manager of the Global Exploration and Development Department of Sumitomo Metal Mining Co. Limited, and previously the chief geologist and mine manager of Hishikari. Also a former Tech Resources board member, he came out of retirement to help push Japan Gold's efforts forward when he saw the quality of their projects and similarities to Hishikari. Hishikari Gold Vein is a so typical epithermal uh, gold system. And uh, so Japan has a lot of uh, similar uh, gold mineralization. And now Japan Gold is looking for such a so similar type, so epithermal gold vein system. One of Japan's leading geological academics, an informal advisor to the company, also sees huge potential. Hokkaido is the frontier uh, land for gold exploration. So now Japan Gold started the uh, uh, exploration work in Hokkaido. That is a very important thing for me. I visited one project area that uh, I felt the whole system is preserved in the uh, mountain. So uh, that, uh, in my impression, uh, Hishikari-like uh, system can be uh, expected. We're in the same country, we're in the similar ages of geology here. We believe that there's great potential to do some more drilling here and find some more great deposits here. The number one thing I noticed right away was the community support Japan Gold seems to have. People like this local historian and the owner of this rock quarry are lending their expertise, trying to find clues that may help unlock the potential here. Japan has one of the fastest aging populations on Earth, and many rural communities are emptying out. If the company's efforts are successful, a revitalization is going to happen. And the politicians? They're noticing. And Jonathan Ross, Hi there. Uh, interview. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is the city supportive of Japan Gold's efforts in the area? So, this is the history of the city. So, this is the history of え、え、そして経済が回り、え、人々が、え、集うようなことになればえ、ベストだなというふうに思ってます。This is Tokyo. The largest city on earth. If Japan Gold's drilling efforts are successful, the political implications will be felt here. So far at every level of the Japanese government, the company has experienced an open door. John has built an impressive team, one that includes some of the highest profile executives from Japan's resource sector. I have visited uh, more than 120 countries where uh, we could find any type of mineral resources. Mr. Yamada is the former executive officer and general manager of mineral resources for Sumitomo Corporation, one of the largest diversified companies on earth. Retiring in 2012, today, Mr. Yamada sits on Japan Gold's board of directors. Like every Japanese mining executive I met, he sees huge potential, particularly at the Ikudahara project on Hokkaido. There used to be uh, 17 gold mines spread in only 160 square kilometers. I think that is uh, world the most concentrated area of gold. Hokkaido is a less densely populated area in Japan. So we can expect local support for mining. As a first mover, Japan Gold has accomplished an impressive amount in a relatively short time, setting the table for a very important upcoming year. Along with our strategic investor, Newmont Gold Corp., we're set to conduct expansive drill programs 
centered on projects in Hokkaido and Kyushu. In addition to those programs, we're also conducting field work on several other projects in anticipation of drilling those shortly as well. The historical legacy of these project areas, combined with the validation and expertise of Newmont Gold Corp, has me really excited about the possibilities. I'm really encouraged by what we're seeing and it, it really excites me. I mean, as, as uh, I've indicated, this is, I think, is a world-class opportunity. There are discoveries to be made here. The Japan Gold opportunity and the opportunity that Japan presents is exceptional. I've never encountered anything like it in my career of over 31 years, and it's hard to find anything else like it in the world. It's a first world country, safe political jurisdiction. It's got a wonderful legacy of high-grade gold production. The Japan opportunity allows investors to come in with us at a very early stage to um, evaluate and exploit, make new discoveries, and identify the new wealth that could be created in Japan, not only for the country of Japan, but for our investors.